Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the AMAA's 103rd Annual Meeting Banquet. We are pleased to have so many of you from distant parts of the world gathered here tonight to share in this joyous event. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Vada Mainilian, and I've been involved with the AMAA since my early 20s, from treasurer to board member and many other committees over the years. The organization is very dear to me and my family. Both Lucien and I are privileged to be the co-chairs of this evening's banquet and promise to make it both an informative as well as entertaining program. The responses we received both in attendance and sponsorship have been extraordinary and it's a sign of the trust and reputation of the AMAA and its goodwill worldwide. AMAA is present in 24 countries, and this year we're taking the opportunity to honor three of our partners, <clears throat> Canada, Australia, and France. This brings me to the theme of our event tonight, which is called Empowering AMAA's Global Mission. You will see the globe in the, in the centerpiece of each of your tables. It's a memento of this very theme. Our committee worked diligently to present this concept to you, and you are welcome to take the centerpieces home. Many of you know about the AMAA and its good works through support of our churches and its mission of education, humanitarian needs, youth programs, and camps. For those of you who don't, you will get a smattering of it tonight. Once you see the effect it has on our community and people, you will fall in love with the organization. By the way, <clears throat> I hope you all enjoyed the violinist, Diana Vasilian, who played the background music during our cocktail hour. She is an award-winning lady. <clears throat> having won the title of Best Female Violinist in Armenia, along with other numerous prizes. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to introduce you to my better half, Lucien Ainilian, who will say a few words in Armenian and possibly French. Sireli, Yev Harkeli Hurer, Pari Egerek, Cerner Gaitun Mezia Marshad Arjekavore, I Sirigun Havakwazeng Donelu, Amergai Hai Averanachagan, Anger of Sutian Hyrur Yerot, Jorov Neru, Jashkeruita, Cezibes, Parekort, Yev Aradat Serk, and Seru Bajarovevor, I Smutuna, Sharnagaze, Ir Oknutuna, Sanchors Yergin Neru Mej, Inchpes, Hayastan, Artsakh, Surya, Lipanan, Yev Island, Yergin Neru Mej. Miutunu Uninaev, and Geraktutuner, Zanazan Yergin Neru Head, Vorons Yerekade, Bidi, Harkeng, Askisher, Voronken, Australia, Canada, Yev Franca. Meg gets a thing mer nachkineru useruvra, yev astazo knutiam, hai avedaran chagan and gerutuna, bidisharnage, ir pari cordere, yergar dariner. Who is sowing for askisher? Askisherva hai da kir latsezis varjali, machtelov ser polorin urach yerego. Thank you. Alors, pour nos amis francophones, vous êtes les bienvenus. Nous vous remercions pour tout le travail et la coopération que vous avez accompli avec l'AMA au cours des 30 dernières années. Votre aide et votre générosité sont très bien appréciées par nous et par les enfants, les étudiants, les malades, les affamés qui en ont bénéficié. C'est notre bonheur de vous avoir parmi nous et que Dieu vous bénisse. En vous souhaitant une bonne soirée.
Now, I would like to invite Ms. Ani Girgirian to lead us in both Armenian and American national anthems. Kindly stand and remain standing as Reverend Joseph Karabedian, pastor, pastor of the Armenian Presbyterian Church, gives us the invocation. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Med hayrenik azad angakh vor apreles aredar yur vortika art kan chume azad angakh hayastan yur vortika art kan chume azad angakh Amen, ein dech, mahe mir, macht mir ein Kampit mehr nie. Beit ihr an ihr, wo ihr raski, asatut ihr gesoch wie. Beit ihr an ihr, wo ihr raski, asatut ihr gesoch wie. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we remember your great commission in which you said, in which your son said, go therefore, we give you thanks and praise for this unique opportunity to rejoice and to celebrate all that you have done through us in reaching and becoming your hands, your feet, and your mouthpieces for the great mission that you gave us. Lord, that mission was not only verbal, but it was also through many actions. And today we are here to celebrate the 103rd anniversary of the AMAA. And we ask that you bless our conversations, the meal, the atmosphere, and that you be with us very tangibly. We give you thanks and praise for this opportunity, and we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we start our program, uh, I'd like you to recognize some of the people who were at the meetings here uh, over the weekend and over the week. So I'm going to do it in groups, and what I'm going to ask is that you hold your applause until all have stood up. Uh, so I'm going to recognize first the board members of the Armenian Missionary Association of Canada, including Hagop Basmajan, benefactor of the Askeren Kindergarten. Please stand up, the Canadian uh, uh, group. Thank you. Stay, stay standing, please. Members of the Ar Armenian Missionary Association of Australia, please stand up for those of you who are here from Australia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Board members for Hope for Armenia. Yes. AMAA board members, past and present.
please stand up. Past and present AMAA board members, please stand up. AUNA board members, past and present, please stand up. The uh, Armenian Evangelical World Council members, both past and present. Haigazian University President and Board of Trustees Chair and member, past and present. Haigazian University. All the Armenian Evangelical Ministers, this is gonna be a big crowd. All the Armenian ministers, please stand up, all ministers. Give them a round of applause. The Stephen Pilibosian Foundation Board of Trustees members, past and present, please stand. Be recognized, thank you. Last but not least, our banquet committee, having put this all together along with the AMAA staff. They did a marvelous job putting this together. Thank you. Now you can clap for everybody. Thank you, thank you. Now, <clears throat> Zavin Khanjan uh, will cover for Dr. Nazareth Darakchan due to an unexpected issue, since he was going to give the speech next. But before that, I will still give Dr. Darakchan's intro. Dr. Darakchan has served for the past eight years as president of the AMAA. He is not only a humble person, serving diligently and tirelessly, but he is also a benefactor of the AMAA. His wife, Ani, has also stood by him and with him through many trips, meetings, and committees over the years. Ani has served as Haigazian University Board Chair for many years. Both have served the AMAA in a benevolent and gracious way. He is a very talented man on many levels, and we know his interests lie not only with the AMAA, but for his love of music. I can say much more about him, but his accomplishments speak for themselves during his tenure with the AMAA. Many of you know him fondly as Nazo, so at this time I ask Zaven to please come forward. Good evening. As perfect as we aspire to be, I should admit a big fault this evening. Uh, which is uh, most probably some of you should have noticed. Uh, we got the uh, flags uh, to the hall, uh, but they're all back there uh, on the wall or around the wall, and we couldn't get them to the stage. So our apologies uh, to all of you uh, for this shortcoming, and uh, we promise to be more diligent next year. I'm sorry to say that after several days of uh, perfect uh, uh, endeavors and um, running and managing the affairs of the AMAA, uh, this morning Dr. Nazareth Darakchan had uh, an emergency uh, and had to leave back to Los Angeles. And so uh, he has asked me to share with you the message that he was going to share uh, this evening with you. He's doing fine, uh, but uh, he couldn't make it. It is true that the AMAA was born in Worcester, Massachusetts, more than 100 years ago. But as far as I can remember, and I'm not a spring chicken, neither am I, Paramus, New Jersey has been the home of the AMAA for a good many years. In that sense, New Jersey is second home for me and for all of us, who are near and dear to the AMAA. It certainly feels good to be home, and I want to take this opportunity to thank the local Armenian evangelical community, not only 
for hosting the meetings and activities this year, but also for providing a home and supporting the AMA headquarters for many, many years. Our last annual meeting banquet in New Jersey was five years ago, and we can all appreciate how much the world has changed in these five years, from the COVID pandemic to the 44-day war in and around Artsakh to the economic meltdown in Lebanon and Syria, there have been difficult times for our AMA mission fields and the Armenian evangelical communities in general. Just over a month ago, Armenia suffered a military attack by Azerbaijan, the like of which it had not seen since in its independence more than 30 years ago. There have been very difficult times for Armenians, whether they are in the fatherland or the diaspora, and it behooves the AMAA to substantially increase its efforts to help the orphans of the fallen soldiers and the families of the wounded. The cries for help are coming loud and clear, and we cannot ignore them and carry on business as usual. From its inception, the mission of the AMAA has been to rebuild our torn down institutions, spread spiritual and educational light among Armenians, and reach out and provide humanitarian aid to those who are suffering. The AMAA was made for these times and these kinds of situations. Many of you who are here remember very well the earthquake of 1998 that hit Armenia. In fact, some of you who are here today were actively involved in the relief efforts that the AMA started throughout the establishment of the Orphan Care Committee, which remains active to this day in Boston, New England, and Southern California, in, in New Jersey as well. Now, I very much hope that we never again see anything close to the death and destruction we saw in 1988. But I know that whatever happens in Armenia, the AMA will act swiftly and do its utmost to support the needy, ease the pain of the wounded and, and the sick, and rebuild whatever is torn down. The AMA will not sit down. At times like this, it is vital for our Armenians of all affiliations and persuasions to come together and support each other in the fatherland and the diaspora. And if we stand united as one nation, I have no doubt that we will prevail. We are here to celebrate and thank God for the AMAA, for completing another successful year of spreading the light of the gospel, educating the youth, and lending support to our mission fields in 24 countries where the AMAA serves. My thanks goes to the AMA staff and volunteer committees, committee members under the leadership of the executive director for working out all the details necessary to make this weekend a success. My special thanks to the co-chairs, Vahram and Luciana Inilian, for taking charge of the program tonight, as well as their dedication and support that made this event so special. My thanks also to all the sponsors and all of you are present here for participating in this event tonight. I wish you an enjoyable evening. Thank you. Tonight, under the direction of Seta Pascalian Kantarjan, they have provided outstanding performances, not only in the United States, but in Lebanon, Syria, Canada, Armenia, and South America. In fact, they have their 30th anniversary celebration this November 5th at NJPAC in Newark, where you can see them in full regalia, along with other prominent performers. This smaller group tonight will provide us with two of their beautifully choreographed dances. So I invite Seta and her group to come forward. Thank you.
I'd like to invite Seta to come forward and give her a, a great round of applause for these young ladies and gentlemen that just danced for us. She, she's going to, she's been doing this for 30 years. A terrific, terrific lady. Ha ha do it, you're 
She's an up and rising star. At this point in our program, you will see in sequence the presentation of our honoree partners as part of the AMAA's global mission. As part of the presentation, you will see a short video first of each of the partners' activities, giving you some insight into their vision and work. As the honorees are presented with a gift, you will visually see the images of the gift on the big screen. The gifts are artworks by Ardian, who's from Armenia, whose real name is Vasken Brutian. Each painting is different in composition for the three recipients. This collection utilizes fragments from the manuscripts of Gandasar School, passages from St. Gregory of Nadek's prayers, and architectural and cross stone motifs. So after each video presentation, the honoree will come forward to receive their gift from the presenter, starting with Canada, then Australia, and finally France. Zavin, uh, please come forward to begin this portion of the program. I'm here again on behalf of our president, Dr. Nazareth Darakchan. This was his, his role, and uh, uh, he has been the student of Mr. Mihran Gizmejian. And may I take this time to invite Mr. Mihran Gizmejian to the podium, please. Okay. Thank you. And while Mr. Gizmajan is coming here, uh, I'd like to make this presentation again on behalf of Dr. Nazareth Darakchan. <clears throat> My first encounter with Mr. Mihran Gizmajan was when I became a student at the fifth grade of the Emmanuel Elementary School in Aleppo, Syria. He was the school where he was the school principal. Baron Mihran, as we used to call him, had a beautiful tenor voice and would lead the singing during chapel and music classes. He was a good principal. I don't remember him ever punishing me for anything. <laughs> and he enjoyed the respect of the students and the teaching faculty. Soon Mr. Gizmejan moved to Cyprus and I moved to Beirut and we did not see or hear from each other for a good 25 years and the reunion was, of course, at the AMAA board meeting in the early 1990s. Mr. Mihran Gizmejan was born in Aleppo, the second child of a family of eight children. His parents were devout, born-again Christians and important role models in his life. He started his schooling at Bethel School, then Aleppo College, then the American University of Beirut and the nearest school of theology. In 1973, he completed the requirements and received a master's degree in Christian education from NEST. In 1965, he moved to Cyprus and served for six years as teacher and supervisor at the Melkonian Institute, where he met his future wife, Vartuhi. And may I take this moment to invite Mrs. Gizmejian to the podium as well. Yes. They returned to Beirut in early 1970s, but soon the Lebanese Civil War started and the Gizmejians ended up in Toronto, Canada. After trying several jobs, Mr. Gizmejian joined the city of York Library System, where he remained employed for more than 20 years until his retirement in 1999. As they say, life starts after retirement, and Mr. Gizmejian became very busy after retirement, serving as interim minister in Uruguay and Buenos Aires. He is frequently called, he was frequently called to fill in pulpits as a lay preacher. In the early 2000s, he taught Christian education courses at the Evangelical Theology School of Armenia for three years, translated books to Armenian, published several books that deal with Christian education, a children's Bible in cartoons called Manga Messiah. He wrote a book called Christian Meditations and one called 
awake the leader within you. Mr. Gizmejian's most important contribution to the Armenian evangelical world has come through his involvement in the Armenian Missionary Association of Canada since its inception in 1984. Mr. Gizmejian has served the organization as founding member, vice president, president, executive director. He has served the organization with utmost dedication and has managed to raise substantial amounts of, for the various projects that AMAC sponsored. A sample of these projects include child sponsorship in Armenia, the Lebanon Relief Fund and support of the Anjar School, backpacks for children in Artsakh, minibuses for Armenia, support for the Askeran Kindergarten, and many other projects. <clears throat> Today, Mr. Gizmejan continues his service as a member of the AMAC board with utmost zeal and dedication. If you hear any rumors that he's going to retire, don't believe it. <laughs> and we hope that God gives him the strength to continue his service for many, many years. We are grateful to Mr. Mihran Gizmejan and Mrs. Vatui Gizmejan for their dedication and their many, many years, actually decades of service to the Armenian community, to the Armenian youth in education, and especially in the founding and life of the Armenian Missionary Association of Canada. Let's congratulate them. My wife and I really appreciate this honor, but I give the glory to God. Amen. Uh, in everything we do, we try to do our best, and then we go back behind the curtain where God is glorified. That's the way I work. Thank you very much.
the Armenian community in Australia is small but impactful. The Armenian Missionary Association of Australia has built a legacy of service, gaining the trust and respect of the community leaders and members alike from decades of tireless work. 21 years ago, Reverend Moses Jambazian believed that Australia should have its own branch of the AMA. I was actually inspired by the then CEO, bless his memory, the Reverend Dr. Moses Jambazian. I became aware of the many projects that AMA does globally around the world, helping underprivileged Armenians, uh, building their lives. And I thought I would like to become a part of this association because I wanted to give back somehow to the community. Great things often have humble beginnings. Our first budget in those early days was just $13,000. Now, 21 years later, it's closer to $200,000 with one record-breaking year of $350,000. By God's grace, we have raised over $2 million to fund AMA projects worldwide. It's a great achievement for us, considering we are entirely volunteer one. Realizing that Australia is a young entity, I think it has done a wonderful work in organizing itself. From inception to today, it has successfully uh, supported AMA projects and services in Armenia and Artsakh, and also in the Near East. Our mission is simple, to serve the tangible and spiritual needs of our people, both at home and overseas. The most meaningful initiative for me has been the sponsorship of the students and the children. All of us understand that education is important and it's a very important foundation to enable young people to move forward in their lives. We provide ongoing support to the AMA's Child Sponsorship and Education Program. Our sponsors support 81 children in Armenia, Artsakh, and students in Lebanon. I think that the Armenian Missionary Association of Australia has done a very effective job in raising support for projects that the AMA sponsors. For me personally, my favorite initiative is the work we have done in the Armenian village of Choratan. We completely renovated the school playground for the local children to use and built an underground shelter in case of an attack. Then, in 2018, on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the AMAA, we raised $300,000 from our centenary celebrations here in Sydney. Those funds were allocated to the refurbishment of two kindergartens in Artsakh. In 2017, in collaboration with the Armenian National Committee of Australia, on the 10th anniversary of Brand Ding's death, we hosted Mrs. Raquel Ding to commemorate her late husband. With generous donations made to the AMA Australia, we were able to refurbish the laboratory and the memorial hall at the Central High School in Beirut, as well as establishing the $500,000 Anthony Rosansky Fund which supports several full scholarships to top achieving students at the school. Our mission and service ministry is made possible through the grace of God and by the gifts of individuals and churches who are committed to fulfilling the Great Commission. In the Gospel of Mark 16, 15, he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. It was 1996 when AMAA dispatched Albert and, can you hear me? Yes. Albert and Esther Momjan and the Steins to go to Sydney, Australia. We never had been there. We arrived in the hotel and descending the stairs was Michael Jackson. 
And a few days later, President Clinton was about to come. But more enthralling for Joe and me and the Momjans was going to the United, United Armenian Church of Australia. The opening of that church was absolutely wonderful for us. It was the inauguration of a church that Coco and his bride had established. We met the people there, and we felt privileged that we were going to be there. And of course, Albert Momjan gave a wonderful narrative. So Coco, you and your beautiful wife have created a fantastic church uniting your community for the love of Jesus Christ. You couldn't do anything better than that. Thank you. My memory of first meeting Krikor Koko was during our almost annual visits at the urging of Joyce's father, Stephen Philibosian, to look over the work that was being done there under his supervision and with his support. And I learned a few words there. Ahlan wa salam. I learned shokran. And because of the wonderful driving of Krikor taking us from Aleppo to Kesab and other places on very unusual roads, I learned the word shwe, shwe. So he to Joyce and I is Dr. Shwe. And we congratulate Dativiv and Krikor tonight. Thank you so much for what you have done in enlarging the Church of Jesus Christ in Australia. We honor you tonight. We'd like to invite up Reverend Dr. Dikran Yumshak. She, oh my gosh, Yumshak Jakin and his wife up to present, uh, so we can present this gift. It's my distinct pleasure to present this to you. Today we are here receiving this appreciation and this award on behalf of our committee, Army Missionary Association of Australia. I'm humbled and I'm grateful to God and thankful. Um, my memories go back as Joe and uh, Joyce talked about, and they said, Coco, <laughs> and some also Dikran, so <laughs> we are all in the same. We are here to serve our Lord and our God. Uh, so uh, we accept this gift humbly, and we thank God for this uh, opportunity uh, for us to serve as long as we can. As I mentioned earlier, and especially today in the morning, it has been more than 20 years that we started uh, the association in Australia, and as it was mentioned in the video, it's the, I believe it's the vision of uh, our dear Moses Jambazian. Without his vision, we wouldn't have been here today. So, as I said earlier, I accept this gift uh, humbly on behalf of the uh, association in Australia, but also I remember uh, Reverend Moses for everything he has done for his encouragement and also for your support. Uh, at this time, uh, the executive, Mr. Khanjan, he has been always with us during the last several years, he encouraged us. Uh, whenever we have any needs, he was open to hear and listen and to give his blessings. Thank you very much. Thank you, and God bless.
Good evening. My first experience of Hope for Armenia was in August 1992. To be more exact, I first met them at the AMAA organized summer camp in Armenia. That was back in 1992. The Soviet Union had just collapsed and Armenia was waking up to the unbelievable reality of independence and the ensuing economic collapse. Our homeland was recovering from the 1989 earthquake and was simultaneously fighting a war for the independence of Artsakh. Those days were known as the dark years in Armenia. The country was experiencing economic, spiritual, and luminous darkness. At the time, I thought that members of our Canadian team were the only ones crazy enough to venture into the darkness of a country that suffered from acute shortage of fuel, food, and fun. I was pleasantly surprised to meet fellow adventurers who had also taken plunge, the plunge to serve in the homeland. The way these French Armenians, Armenians spoke provided plenty of ammunition to my Canadian teammates who had a field day imitating their French-accented Armenian. My second observation of my French-accented brothers and sisters was that they loved to eat. Lunchtime was sacred. They came to Armenia with their own food, along with a cook. There was even wine on the table. I will confess that my initial surprise soon gave way to jealousy. I was soon pleasantly surprised to observe that these food-loving, French-accented descendants of Noah were actually good people. They loved God. They were there to serve. They meant it. They were well-prepared, organized, and creative. I soon started loving them. Thanks to their hard work and creativity, the Armenia camps ended in great success. The camps ended and we departed ways. Little did I know that heaven was not done with this cooperation. Destiny had designed a longer term relationship. This year, the year was 1996, the month September. I had just landed in Yerevan as AMA's deputy res representative. And guess who would be my boss? No other than the first president of Hope for Armenia embodied in the person of Reverend René Leonian. God wanted me to learn to love French accent. <laughs> this was the start of the 26-year col collaboration with these dedicated, hardworking, patriotic, and God-loving, wonderful leaders and volunteers of Hope for Armenia. Please allow me to characterize these wonderful people. They are consistent. Year after year, tirelessly, they organize and, and implement their mission trips to the homeland. They minister in the same areas, building on their work in previous years. They are meticulous. They plan their visits to the minutest detail. They are well organized. Everyone on their team knows his and her role. Their Armenia counterparts are well informed and ready to work. Their programs and mission trips run smoothly with almost no hiccups. They are creative. Only they could envision a day camp for, for the elderly. They are pleasant and easy to work with. They are driven by the love of God. Yet, the quality that I most admire in them is that they don't just give their money. They give of themselves. Their time, effort, attention, and love. In doing so, they imitate God, who came down and gave himself to us. Thank you very much. Let's invite the people of Hope for Armenia. Serge and Nadia Kukjan. Nadia, are you here? Yes. 
venez, s'il vous plaît. Yes, yes, Ankle Renova, ce qui est de garder, Haye Renova, même par les Rechem qui dèche, Amagouzek Ned, Asirgun qui quitte ça, vous, Français Renova, le Gossin. Alors, Français Renova, Gossin, il y a Harout de Tarsmane. Merci, Harout. Merci, Harout. Vraiment, c'est un grand plaisir pour moi d'être honoré ce soir. It is a great privilege for me to be honored tonight. À travers moi, c'est l'association Espoir pour l'Arménie qui est mise en avant. Excuse-moi. À travers moi, c'est l'association Espoir pour l'Arménie qui est mise en avant. Uh, through me, it's the Hope for Armenia organization that is being honored tonight. Et je voudrais associer à cette récompense, à ces, euh, cette, euh, ce prix tous mes collaborateurs qui sont là. Donc, le premier président, c'est le pasteur René Léonien, si tu veux te lever. The honor that we receive today, I want to share with our colleagues, Reverend Levonian, the first president of Hope for Armenia. Le deuxième, c'est M. Boros Aladjian, qui aurait bien voulu être parmi nous, et malheureusement, il n'a pas pu venir. The second is Mr. Boros Aladjian, who wanted to be here with us, but he couldn't. Le, deuxième, le troisième, c'est le pasteur Gilbert Léonian qui est là aussi. And the third one is Reverend Gilbert Léonian, who's here. Moi, j'ai servi pendant un peu plus de 20 ans, et maintenant, c'est euh, David Chaignan qui est le nouveau président. I've been president for 20 years, but starting this year, it's David Chaignan who's the new president. Merci beaucoup, et je vous souhaite une bonne soirée. Thank you very much, and good evening. Nous sommes alors Chad ou Rachenk Menk ha Emeined Ashradel, Yev Chad Gesirenk Zaven Kardian, Yev Guzeink Vesdig Never Medal. Hair Mer Ne, Vor Hayastanen Guka, Orphelin Zadik Vor Panoti. Hier da Sartner nen vor Sarketin as Keretik Tablon. Thank you. Thank you, Hope for Armenia. Well, how about a round of applause for our three partners? That's just three of them. The rest of the night, we're going to do the rest. There's another 24, but... <laughs> okay. We finally have the last portion of the program, which is to hear the closing remarks of our executive director and CEO, Mr. Zavin Hanjan. Well, what can I say that has not already been said about this man? He's a dedicated and around-the-clock worker for the AMAA. His Christian faith and love of his Armenian heritage supersedes everything. This is his ninth year serving the AMAA in a generous and gratuitous way. With his wife, Sona, they have traveled the world, seeing to the spiritual and financial needs of our people. He has straddled the difficult years of the pandemic and come through with flying colors. His accolades are many, and his determination to get the job done is not only commendable, but outstanding. We are thankful to God for his recovery from a serious health issue, which he underwent and is back in full capacity. The AMAA has been fortunate to have him at the helm, steering it through the difficult times as we see what has happened in Armenia, Artsakh, Lebanon, Syria, and elsewhere. Zavin is indispensable and it is my privilege to invite him to the podium. Thank you, Vahram. I'm humbled with this introduction, and definitely I am not indispensable. <coughs> uh, but I really appreciate the kind words. Avedaran Chagani, Sir Dagits Paregamner. 
այս երեկո հատուկ երբով գուկամ խորին երախտակիդագանը սկացումներս հայտնել ծեր փոլորին ներգայության համար եւ գուզեմ քիդակցիկ թե ծեր ներգայությունը մեր արակելությունը գիմաստավոր է եւ ծեր աչակցությունը թափ կուդա մեր ավելին ընելու գամքին եւ հանցնարության հարկանք եւ շնորհակալություն ծեր փոլորին ներգայության համար այս երեկո Good evening. Good evening, New Jersey. After an absence of five years, the AMA annual meeting and banquet returned to New Jersey, bringing back its gracious mission partners from all around the world. Tonight, a graceful banquet committee, diligently chaired by Vahram and Lucien Ainilian, delightfully entertained us. We honored our global partners and were touched by their amazing stories shared in live and moving pictures. Thank you, Vahram and Lucien and Banquet Committee for your faith, love, and service in producing this lovely and remarkable evening. Thank you all for your presence tonight, a testament of support and an acknowledgement of a mission in action. We salute the Armenian Presbyterian Church and its indefatigable minister, Reverend Joseph Garabedian, the church staff the, and cohorts who warmly welcomed and hosted us at the annual meeting and will do it again at installation worship service on Sunday morning. I salute and thank the AMA staff in Paramus, Glendale, Yerevan, and Artsakh, who graciously stand behind the effort to advance every AMA effort, activity, service, or program. They are always at task producing the treasures that depict the mission we believe in and carry on. I salute and thank our esteemed guests who traveled long distances to bring us the warm, colorful, and boundless spirit of love, care, and attention in support of the mission and its goals. May God abundantly bless you all. We are living in difficult times. Despite the glowing illumination that emanates from the collective passion to serve the homeland and our communities across the globe, we realize we are living in difficult times. Never in the past 35 years has the prospect of a free and independent Artsakh been so dim and remote. Never in the history of the living generation of Armenians has the concern about the homeland been so great and serious. Threats, assault, land grab, occupation, execution of unarmed POWs, incitement and promotion of hatred have all gone through with impunity. Armenia has only received fruitless condemnation from friends near and far. In this existential battle of, of survival, we are the sole guarantors of our destiny. But my outlook is positive. We have endured such periods in history, borne the pain and, resur and resurrected. Our resilience and persistence have prevailed. We have to be vigilant, active, alert, and productive. Our homeland is our yoke, and we should all be engaged in a battle to defend, support, and sustain it. We each have our own weaponry and should use what we are good at. In spite of aggression, political turmoil, economic crisis, and destabilizing sanctions all around, AMAA 
steadfastly continues to spread God's word and reflect his love, goodness, and hope all around. AMA's presence on the stage of Armenian philanthropy is respectable, necessary, and impactful. Whether in the border villages of Artsakh or Sunik, any corner in Armenia, any country in the Near East, including Turkey, most of Europe, in North or South America, MAA, faithful to its mission, is present and impactful. In the next few months, we shall build two new kindergartens in Artsakh, half a dozen new homes, a tech center at the Avedisian School in Yerevan. We shall embark on a major development of a youth camp in Hankavan, pour the foundation of the resurrected Camp Armen in Tuzla, Turkey, and inaugurate the new AMA center and soup kitchen in Pert, Tavush Mars. We are good in building, educating, and spreading the word. Those are our weapons. We are good at using them, and we shall use them. God has called on the AMA to face the spiritual and humanitarian challenges of our people and assume a humble role of service. As we look up to the Great Commission, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation, the march goes on. Thank you for sharing this evening with us. Thank you for your support and may God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that goes to the AMA. Thank you. Now I would like to invite Reverend Dr. Paul Haidostian, the acting president of the Union of Armenian Evangelical Churches in the Near East, and the president of Haigazian University for closing prayer and the benediction. Let us pray. Lord God, giver of life and love, we thank you for the gift of fellowship and celebration we received today. We praise your name, that in the heavenly banquet of your word, you invigorate and renew our calling to be your disciples. As such, may we willingly share what we have gracefully received. May we boldly use your gifts to continue your work, exemplified in the work of the AMAA in the world. May your kingdom come and your will be done. And may we depart in your peace through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ev hima merder Jesus Christos ish norke, as tu dos sere ev surpokuin haur tu tjuna, mer polorin hedelda. Amen. That brings us to the end of our program this evening. Both Lucien and I thank you for empowering the AMAA's global mission together. Drive home safely. Good night. Thank you. Thank you and good night.
Thank you.